Hey, you've probably noticed the warm air. In fact, we have a first alert weather day today talking about this unseasonably mild air for this time of the year. 80s for inland Connecticut, parts of inland Connecticut, and 70s for the shoreline. And we may see some records at least getting close or tying or even breaking them. Here's where we stand. The current record in the Hartford area is 82 degrees. That was set back in 1946. We're forecasting 83. We're at 75 now, so we'll see how it goes. Bridgeport, the record is 75 degrees set back in 2004. Uh, the forecast is 76 right now. Bridgeport still in the upper 60s, so we'll have to wait and see over the next uh, couple of hours as really that daytime heating takes shape to see how it goes. All right, so daylight saving comes to an end uh, as we head through the weekend, so set your clocks back one hour, and then notice the sunrise on Sunday is now going to be 626 in the morning, a little easier to get out of bed in the morning, especially if you have high school students, and then the sun set though, 442. So those early sunsets this time of the year for sure. All right, so let's take a look at our calendar. Look at all the red days. Those are the above average days. Yesterday we got to 77. Again, today we're forecasting temperatures to be even warmer than that. What we really need is some rain, and what we haven't seen is a lot of it this month at all, not amounting to much. And we have the chance for some showers overnight tonight, well, mostly early tomorrow morning, but they do not look like they're going to amount to much not the substantial rain that we need. All right, so temperatures outside right now, we are warming up into the mid 70s in Windsor Locks and Torrington and Meriden, 70 in New Haven right now, 67 in Bridgeport. We've got 70 in Putnam, 70 in Willimantic. So good day to maybe take a walk outside on your lunch break. Let's take a look at First Alert Futurecast here and you can see what I'm talking about with a whole, not a whole lot going on. Uh, we've got partly to mostly sunny skies out there for the afternoon, generally quiet this evening. Temperatures for the trick-or-treaters will be between about 70 and 75. Then here comes that frontal boundary. Tomorrow morning around 7, 8, 9 o'clock, we'll see some showers moving through the state. They move in and move out fairly quickly, don't amount to much, and then we're in the sunshine again by lunchtime tomorrow. So it's a fast-moving system. The winds will shift out of a more northwesterly direction, also pick up in intensity. The air will be even drier behind this front, so that's why we're concerned uh, for that fire danger risk again tomorrow with a greater risk tomorrow. All right, so here's a live look in Torrington right now. The sky looks nice. We have a few high clouds out there right now. We'll check out Waterbury at 72. Winds out of the west there. And let's check out Hartford right now. 74 degrees in the capital city. And we've got a fair amount of sunshine overhead. Not much of a wind out there right now. So we are forecast to go from the upper 70s to the lower 80s in the Hartford area. And then by the early evening to later evening hours dropping down into the 70s. The trick-or-treaters looking good, 70 to 75 degrees. Sunset is at 545. So again, a lot of us getting into those upper 70s, even lower 80s. Records coming close. We'll keep you posted this afternoon. Then tonight, a mild night with again some showers around by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, but they move out quickly. And then we're looking breezy for Friday afternoon with some sunshine. The weekend is looking cooler. We're we're talking about more seasonable air, lows in the 30s and 40s, highs in the 50s. And then next week, we have a couple chances for spot showers, but again, nothing substantial. And then Election Day forecast is looking good at 65 degrees.